just uh, fit the first bearing into one of the fingers and I finally got a tool to drill out the uh, sear diameter. Well, we have two done and only 18 more to go. 10 fingers. This is gonna suck. be pretty level and I say that's a good fit come on almost there it's press fit that's how you do it as you can see it's not quite the flat profile we want so I'm gonna grind this bit down flatten it out until it is I can open close See if it fits. Uh, if you give it a little uh, dip or a lip, it looks a hell of a lot better than just leaving it plain. Gives it that professional look that everybody wants. Once that part is done, we make sure it lines up within reason, of course. Next, we're going to drill a hole through both of them. And the finished product will look like this. A full articulable finger. The bearings that we are using have an inner diameter of 1 4 inch, outer diameter of 3 4 inch, and uh, they have a radial load of 600 pounds. We don't expect to use that entire radial load, but uh, it's best to have the strength and I need it than need the strength and not have it. With the interior knuckle, make sure that you're grinding away the edge of it so when it articulates between the two pieces, you can easily slide and act as that uh, transition part. If you don't grind it at an angle like this, it's not going to move or articulate. It might sit a little weird now, but you can fully articulate the finger now. Beforehand, when it was just square and square, couldn't move. Old servo and new servos. More compact, so it's going to be perfect. And they're stronger. Sometimes you gotta kind of put the entire picture together, see what's going on. From there you can make changes or do what's needed to progress. Step by step, Prometheus is getting better. <laughs> 